Hi, welcome to Vegan Dive or Cat, where I talk about all things conservation, sustainability, and scuba diving. This week's video is all about how to stay healthy and dive fit during this isolation time during the C word, which I'm not going to say due to demonetization. For those of you guys who don't know, I have been a scuba diving instructor since 2013, so it's been quite a while. I have dived over 17 countries, I have worked in about four or five countries now, and yes, I want to share some of my dive tips with you guys. three main reasons why you need to stay fit and then I'm going to share with you the tips of what I do to stay dive fit even when I can't really go outside. Now the first thing of course is to make sure your body is functioning well, that your blood is circulating well to be able to send the oxygen through your system. Since you're scuba diving you're going to be breathing compressed air so having a healthy functioning cardiovascular system is one of the important things to minimize your risk of decompression sickness and also to have a low air consumption and overall great dive. Now to improve your cardiovascular health what you got to do is cardiovascular exercise. So I like going on runs I usually run up the hill here in my local area, however, you should still be able to go on runs around your neighborhood or block, so give it a try. Jogging is a great way to improve your heart strength, but also biking or any exercise which requires your heart rate to increase for longer periods of time. Uh, you can also ride a bike, you can go for a swim or anything like that may help you in terms of this. I like going for a run up the hill. Well, I don't like it, but it is good for me and I try and do it at least a couple times a week to keep that dive fitness up. The second thing you want to consider in general is your ease of movement. So while scuba diving is considered one of the laziest sports in the world, your equipment can weigh up to 20 kilograms. You may need to walk down the beach with all that equipment on your back. You will need to climb up a ladder potentially. So there is a lot of movement on land before you get to relax underwater. So you need to make sure that you have enough muscles and fitness to carry around this equipment. On top of the land use of equipment, of course, you are going to be underwater battling with currents potentially, um, maybe rescuing your dive buddy. So you need to have muscles and relative dive fitness to be able to do all that safely. Now, of course, to do that, Overall fitness, of course, I make sure to eat healthy, so I try and eat a whole food plant-based diet. So I avoid processed food, that means only good stuff is going into my body. It also means I'm nice and hydrated, especially here where it's so hot all the time. I make sure I get plenty of fluids, I eat well, and then keep up with my weekly kind of workouts just to make sure that um, I'm overall fit, able to save my buddies if I need to, or swim longer distances and just generally uh, live kind of the healthy lifestyle. And lastly, the important reason of staying fit and healthy for scuba diving is to decrease your fat content. Now you will remember from your open water course that due to consuming compressed air, you're going to be getting little nitrogen particles into your blood system. If you go up too quickly or you stay down too long and don't do your safety stops, you can get decompression sickness. If you ascend too quickly or you stay down too long over your no decompression limits and then do not do your safety stops, you may experience trouble with nitrogen when the nitrogen expands into bubbles and can potentially block off your circulation, causing stroke or other serious health problems. The reason why having minimum fat content during your scuba diving is important is because different parts of our body release nitrogen at different rates. Fat is the tissue in our body that releases nitrogen at the slowest rate, meaning if you have more muscle in your body, you, 
meaning if you have higher fat content, you are more likely to experience decompression illness. If we have a throwback to uh, the first dive tables, which were all based off fit, navy, military, healthy, young dudes, uh, once it was transitioned to recreational diving, a lot of women were experiencing decompression illness. And this is of course because as women, we have a higher fat content than men do. And the original dive tables did not take into account the fat content of women. Therefore, while for a really young, fit, healthy um, Navy diver, it was fine for them to stay at a certain depth for 50 minutes, for a woman or someone with higher fat content, that limit was actually lower. Now the recreational dive tables and all of our dive computers do include that into consideration, but in general, if you have less fat content, you are less at risk of decompression illness simply because the nitrogen will get out of your system faster than out of the fat tissues. Now, to minimize your fat content, of course, what you gotta do to decrease fat content, of course, a great way to do this is to lift some weights. So I also spend some time in my little gym, in my home, and I lift weights. And I'm not the best at doing this, and I'm not really doing it to bulk up, but any kind of moving more into muscle rather than fat content will help in terms of my dive fitness in general. So I do a couple of like weighted arm exercises. Um, I sometimes do like workouts from YouTube. If you are interested in doing that, check out the plenty of amazing talented YouTubers who do these incredible workouts because I'm definitely not a fitness guru or anything like that. So I won't be able to give you the best tips on what to do to improve your fitness. Those are kind of the three things of what you gotta do to keep your dive fitness up. Now, I personally spend a lot of time working on my cardiovascular fitness to make sure that I am nice and healthy overall. And I have also found that that improves my air consumption. So the more I dive and the fitter I am as well, the less um, air I need to breathe because each breath is more efficient because my bloodstream is working really well and the oxygen travels to all my necessary um, body parts more efficiently. Therefore, at the end of the dive, I will usually come up to the surface with more air than a lot of my buddies. However, this also depends on your size, on your lung size, on um, your sex. Uh, it depends on a lot of things. So if you are having some trouble with, um, you know, decreasing your air consumption, I'll make a whole separate video about that. Let me know if that's something you'd want to see. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great time. Uh, you stay fit and healthy during these crazy times. So for when you can go diving again, you can be nice and fit and healthy.